and welcome to another video. Well, I'm about 10 videos in on this channel and today I'll be featuring the first 35 millimeter SLR camera that I'll have reviewed on the channel. And it's a camera that I suspect not many people have probably even heard of. <laughs> uh, and the, the camera is this Wards branded SLR 600. Now, what is a Wards camera, you might be asking yourself? Well, Wards was a, one of the house brands used by the department store Montgomery Ward in the 1950s and 1960s. And this camera um, was produced sometime in the mid-1960s. Now, what makes this camera interesting and really caught my eye when I spotted this is it uses a Tomioka branded lens. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Tomioka brand, Tomioka was a very highly regarded lens manufacturer from Japan, um, primarily issuing lenses in the 1950s and 1960s and into the 1970s. And actually, I think they're still around uh, making lenses, but Tomioka was uh, very highly regarded in the 1960s in particular. They were the lens manufacturer for Yashica, um, and in the 1960s, most Yashica cameras used Tomioka manufactured lenses as their standard lenses. Now, Yashica ended up purchasing Tomioka in 1968, and Tomioka be became part of the Yashica company. Um, but prior to that, they were making lenses for a number of different manufacturers. What's interesting about this particular camera is not only does it have the Tomioka branded lens, uh, when you start looking at the details of the camera, it's very clearly a Yashica manufactured camera. Now, it's not an exact copy to any particular Yashica camera, which is a little unusual because in the 1960s, uh, most of the American department store chains were selling rebranded cameras. That was not unusual. But what they would do is just rebrand um, one of the manufacturer's cameras without making any changes. What's unique about this camera is it doesn't exactly match any particular Yashica camera. Most of the features on this camera are uh, similar to the Yashica J3, which was from the early 1960s. And in particular, the self-timer lever, the shutter re rewind lever, the shutter speed dial, um, and the lens itself, which is a semi-automatic lens, were uh, very clearly from the J3. But the light meter and its readout and the rewind knob were from the J4 and J7 series, a later series of cameras made by Yashica. So this is essentially a Yashica J3, um, but with the light meter and rewind knob from the J4. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the semi-automatic um, lens that this camera uses. So when you wind the camera with the standard shutter winding lever, um, you're obviously setting the shutter, cocking the shutter, and um, getting the, the camera ready to shoot. But if you want to use full aperture focusing, you have to set the lens separately. That's what makes it semi-automatic. So you first wind the shutter like that, and then if you look through the camera, you'll, it will be quite dark if you're, unless you're set to full aperture. If you want to use full aperture focusing, then there's a separate um, cocking lever for the lens, which you pull down, and that sets the aperture to full aperture so you can focus. And then once you're focused, release the shutter, and you can actually hear two clicks. The first click is the aperture being stopped down. The second click is the shutter being released. Now, I'm going to explain in another video. Um, I'm a huge Yashica fan, and I will talk about why um, in another video. But I will just say um, this is an exciting find for me because, again, I hadn't heard of this camera before. It's unusual, um, but obviously manufactured by Yashica and uh, it has the famous Tomioka lens. Um, so this is gonna be an exciting camera for me to shoot with and I'll share the results with you now.
the verdict on this little beauty? Well, the lens is certainly as sharp as I was anticipating and produced some really excellent out of focus highlights, um, which you would hope for in a lens like this. The camera performed pretty well. It has a couple of issues which showed up on a few photos that I didn't show here. Um, some light leaks, which is not unusual for a camera of this age. And I think the uh, lens needs a little bit of help with the aperture uh, sticking perhaps. But overall, it was a, a wonderful experience as I was expecting, um, having shot with a variety of Yashica cameras of this era. Um, it handles very similarly and uh, really enjoy it. Like I said, I will talk a little bit more about why I'm such a fan of Yashica cameras in a future video. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.